Hey guys, what's up? Uh, just want to show you a quick setup that I've been using on shipment, which I found to be really, really good. It's going to be a quick video and I want to waste your time with any unnecessary puff. So yes, it's the P90 as you can see. Honestly, I've not seen very many people use this gun at all, which is kind of a mystery to me because it is a fantastic gun. Um, it seems between the two of the PP19 and the P90, uh, most people tend to go for the PP19. So many P's, by the way. <laughs> Alright, um, so comparing both the guns, um, the PP19 is about a 3 hit kill and the P90 is 4 hit kill. But because of the faster fire rate, uh, I would say that you're going to get that kill much faster every time with the P90. See, on, on shipment, my experience, you need two things. Firstly, you need the fast fire rate and secondly, you need a larger mag both things that the p90 has another thing on this gun is that it has insane hip fire accuracy there were times i was just spraying from the hip and getting kill after kill not even aiming down sights and that's another thing actually on shipment you don't have much time to aim down sights so if you can get kills from the hip that's a huge advantage to you all right, so I'm quickly going to run through all the attachments so you can try this setup for yourself. Note that you obviously don't have to copy everything. You can play around with the attachments and, and change some things to your liking, whatever, whatever you might prefer. All right, so first of all, we have the Forge Tech Retribution Barrel to give you a slightly better uh, range. Uh, next up, we have the Tech Laser. Then I have the Reflex, Mini Reflex Sight. Uh, next up, I have the granulated grip tape, which gives you aiming stability. As I said, you can play around with them. And then finally, we have rubberized grip tape that gives you recoil control. So that's all for the video. As I said, it will be extremely quick. Um, I said, I suggest you to give it a try for sure. I mean, it's always good to try some new weapons and get out of your comfort zone a bit. But honestly, this weapon I found to be really, really good. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, you know, use hyper hyperbole and. Um, so it's overpowered or anything like that, but I found it to be really, really good, and I'll suggest you give it a try. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.